Welcome to Vlogtober. This evening I thought I would share with you my gin collection, although it is looking a little bit on the sorry for itself side. So this is my gin shelf and my cocktail shelf in my house. And it's where I house my, what used to be a vast collection of gins. However, I have slowly but surely started drinking through them. Um, and as we're in the run up to the festive season, I'm sure I will start to add to them. So I thought I'd just show you what gins I have. First things first though, some of my little fun things. This is my ring for gin bell. And my lovely friend Lou bought me that as a present. Now, I signed up a couple of months ago, or no, about six months ago now, to the Craft Gin Club, where they sent you a posh gin once a month, and I didn't actually enjoy it, if I'm entirely honest. Um, I like to choose my own gins, so I cancelled it after a couple of months, but one of the gins I got was this one here, which is the Rarities by Poetic License Gin, and it's a spiced cranberry and orange, and it is absolutely delicious, but I have to admit, I haven't drunk this since the autumn and winter last year, because it is very much um, a festive gin, so I'm looking forward to cracking that one open again soon. I've been getting through quite a lot of this one. This was a birthday present for me back in January. This is the Wilkins & Sons Tip Tree English Raspberry Gin Liquor. Now this is only 20% because it's a gin liquor, so you could have it on its own with some tonic if you wanted something a bit lighter, but I normally shove that in with a normal glob of Bombay or something normal, so it's quite potent. I like to buy myself gins when I go away. So this one is my Mason's gin. It's a dry Yorkshire gin and it's the tea edition. And I bought that when I went to Yarndale last year in Skipton. And then we'll go back this way. This one here, this was a birthday present for me. This is a rhubarb gin and this is homemade by the lovely Viv, um, one of my clients. It's absolutely delicious, I love it. Now, this one's an interesting one. This is a West Winds gin, the Cutlass. Now, it's an Australian gin, and it was bought for me by Stuart. Not the Christmas just gone, but the Christmas before that. Um, and that was the year that I got so very, very drunk on gin on Christmas Eve that I didn't surface on Christmas Day other than to be really rather poorly. And I actually couldn't stomach gin for about three or four months afterwards. It actually turned my stomach. And I have to admit, I haven't tried any of this since. It did come home with me. It's not been drunk. Behind it, this is a lovely tall bottle. This is called Nip from the Hip. And again, this is another gin liquor. Um, and it's a raspberry gin. It's just 22% volume. And this I bought when I went to Leeds Castle last year um, with Thomas. I always have a bottle of Bombay Sapphire. This is my Gordon's. So basically, when a visitor comes and they fancy a G&T, um, and they're not particularly into their gins, so they don't need anything fancy, I'll give them a Bombay Sapphire. Um, but I also quite like a Bombay every now and again when I don't fancy something funky. This one here is, again, that's another handmade one. This was um, Slow Gin, and it's from autumn 2014, so it's a vintage now. Um, and this was made by the lovely Elspeth, and it's really delicious. And it's got these fantastic little fabric bells that she made hanging on it. It's a Christmas present. I've got my Adnams First Rate Gin, the Copper House. I bought that from Adnams itself, from the brewery in Southwold last summer. I have to admit, I don't really like this one. So I haven't really drunk a lot of it. This is one of my all-time favourites. This is my second bottle of this. I had the first bottle for Mother's Day from my daughter. Um, and I think the next one was a Christmas present. And I really, really like it. It's called Bathtub Gin. And I love the paper around the bottle, but it's also really, really delicious. Then I've got this one here, which is the Blue Bottle Dry Gin. Again, this was one of the ones that came from the Craft Gin Club. It's okay. It's nothing fancy. Not massively one that I rave about, but it's something that I'll stick in a cocktail if I'm just making a regular cocktail. And then this one was a present from my lovely hubby. It's by the same people that make the Bathtub Gin and Abelforth's. And it's a bathtub tasting set. 
and you can see it's already been a little bit depleted but it's got these little um 50 ml bottles i think they are a various different strength bathtub gins and so far i've had the bathtub gin which was just a miniature of what i had there and i've had the navy strength gin which was super super strong so i've still got old tom cask aged navy strength and cask aged left to drink and i love these because they've got wax seals on the top so they're really really lovely so i'm saving those for a rainy day some of the fun stuff that comes with the craft gin club um i've got a great postcard here tea is my tonic gin is gin is my blah, 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 blah. tea is my tonic gin is my dancing juice that lives up here I've got a brilliant card that I bought from my friend Claire. She's a Phoenix card rep. Um, and I just really like this. So let the party begin. And again, that lives up there. And then I haven't tried this yet. This came with the Craft Gin Club. It's a G&T, a daytime tonic. So it's a sumptuous center green tea with juniper berries and lemon peel, sweet lime pieces and natural juniper flavors. It's a little sample tea bag. So I will try that one day, but that's been just living on my gin shelf. So for now, I'm going to pour myself a gin tea. I like one of these big balloon glasses when I have a gin. I like to have nice quality tonic. I'm not a Schweppes fan. I do like my fever tree and I have my naturally light because it's the equivalent of slimline and much, much better for you. And I think tonight I'm actually going to enjoy one of these spiced cranberry and orange gins it's about time that we started to admit that autumn was well on its way another thing that i like just to finish off my gin is a good old paper straw i've got a good stash of them and i like to just make my gin a little fancy so cheers everyone i hope you enjoyed my little look around my gin collection